I don't know if y'all watch ESPN still. I know there's a lot of people that don't really like Stephen A. Smith, don't really like the whole institution, I guess, of ESPN and what's not. But what do y'all think about Stephen A.'s comments? Kawhi Leonard should be on the list of one of the worst superstars this game has ever seen. When you talk about a superstar that is unreliable, I want somebody to point me out somebody more flagrant than him. We know that the, le- the injuries are legitimate. They're not fake. We got that. But when you think about his personality, selling the game, promoting the game, promoting the Clippers fan- franchise, being available, being available. Now, when I first heard these comments, I probably did exactly what y'all did. And I really had to listen to what he had to say. And if you really think about it, he's not that wrong. Think about the definition of what a superstar is and what that means for your franchise. This is the guy, just by his presence alone, is gonna bring people in those seats. He's gonna bring brands to you, endorsement deals. He's the guy you pay all the money because you know you're gonna make that money back just because he's there. And when you think about Kawhi Leonard, as a player, there's nothing you can say about him. Like, one of the best in the game when he's on the court nobody disputing that but that's the thing if you're not on the court all those brands all those deals all those none of that is coming to your franchise you see what i'm saying like think of think about that for a second because when you think lebron james when you think you could even go smaller when you think even somebody like a bradley beal like superstar players especially for their franchise people are coming just to see bradley beal play and that's why they're giving him all that money because they know they're going to make that back just by the community. When you think about that, it's not that outrageous of comments by Stephen A. Just my opinion. And listen, I don't get mad at players for being injured. I am a player. I know what it means to be injured. I know the frustration that is. And it seems as though whatever Kawhi is dealing with is long term. It's not something that, that he faking or nothing like that. Like he have genuine issues with, he, with his knees. So I don't think I have to say He's not playing this game, along with his co-star, Paul George. Which means right now, the Clippers don't have much of a chance. Let's just be real. Enough talking y'all head off. Thank y'all for letting me know about the audio in the last video. I definitely made some adjustments to hopefully correct that in this video. Thank y'all. Let's get into it. Let's lock in. Let's go. out game five here all right let's go conference the phoenix fans looking for their squad to advance to the second round shot clock is down to four Booker drives in on westbrook and finishes straight line drive two bots physical over ah another laker that we just lost shout out to zoo box love you Rant for the bucket i like it try to get zoo involved Zubak early. If y'all just gonna let D book drive like this, not gonna be a long night. Powell connects from a long range. Gordon gives it up. Zubak rocks the rim. Booker tries to reload on the baseline and tend to shoot. The jumper goes down. Devin Booker. Devin Booker has scored every bucket for them so far. KD. Good shot. The, the energy right now, like, electrifying. Isn't Phoenix supposed to be, like, one of the, like, loudest stadiums in the NBA? It's them and I think the Kings. I'm, I could be wrong. Got to one of the sweet spots right there at the free throw line extended. Foul called. It's going to count for Powell. So that's the thing. Without Kawhi, without Paul George, you need players like Norman Powell. You need players like even Marcus Moore Sr. You need... um. Russell Westbrook to step up and have like outstanding games because the Suns look at their offense like you have to try to outdo that. And a chance at a three point play. Nice screen set by a Koki now. Yep. A Baseline five. Hey. Shout out to AN, fellow Bohemian man. Clippers may have gotten away with a foul and it sets up. Devin Booker has scored on like every bucket. Town hit beautiful pass by KD. Hey. Yeah. All right, wearing my Bahamas, <laughs> my Bahamas shirt. Fitted. Right down the middle for two. Represent. Ooh. 
Biombo. Uh, fast break. Yeah. Oh, that's a tough move. Good pass, Mason. Not a guy that got a step up for them is definitely Bones. He, he definitely up to step up for them if they're going to have a chance to win. Good shot. Russell Westbrook. Way to keep the ball high. Pass. Ooh. All right, I want to show y'all something real quick. This is a little nerdy thing. Has a trick. Anytime you actually trying to get past the defender on the wing like this, watch how Devin Booker runs into catching the ball instead of catching it, then making the move. Bones Highland plays some really good defense on that, but for the most part, when you do this, the defenders cannot keep up with you when they close up. Just a tip. Bones Highland book it from the outside. Ooh. Highland step back, Jay. He's feeling it. Bones Highland on the board from deep. Durant splash. One of the best scorers ever, bro. Oh. Yes, sir. That's a block. Oh. Shout out to France. Shout out to France. If y'all don't know, that's where I play. I play in France right now. Hey. Y'all see the shirt? I see what the shirt says. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The throw down. One more. Durant Never mind. That's the right. Why would you? <laughs> with a deep shot, Booker gets around Powell. Now he's got to engage with Zubats, who backs off with Biombo. The spin, the deuce. I. Booker, the fade away. Oh no. Okay, Booker, but to have fifty. At this rate. Devin Booker off the window and he had something to say. Technical. Eric Gordon. Westbrook. Never mind. For Russell Westbrook. Now Durant wants to dance with Westbrook. Mm. Durant. Mm. I, you, I really know the sting, you know. Easy money sniper. Zubats. Lost it for a moment. Sticks in the play. That's just tough. Booker blocked by Zubats. Man picks his way. Pass it. One more. Yep. Yep. Perfect play. Ooh. That's basketball. That's basketball. First minute of play. Second half. Suns lead three games to one. Booker. Nice. Slick move to the rim. Wow. Wow. Oh, but all of this and the Clippers are winning. I didn't even notice that. Hey, man. Ty Lue is a really good coach. Everybody know that. Wow. This is like a Devin Booker highlight. Oh, my God. It's off. Gordon yet to score. Leak out. Booker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Devin Booker about 50. Gordon searching. There it is. A triple for the veteran Eric Gordon. Eric Gordon got a step Booker up too. I forgot about bounce. him. No good. Booker the offensive rebound. Paul wow. Yes, he tried to get it to Zubats. Nice play in. Oh, good play. Nice, nice, nice. Five minutes to play in the third. Durant using the eight and screen. Off balance. It goes off. What do you do, coach? What do you do? That's ridiculous. Five of five. The free throw line. The 
Bro, this goes tied. Okay. Yeah, Devin Booker every time. He's just amazing with, with ball screens, man. <laughs> As for you know, it's your night. <laughs> As for you know. Oh my God, bro! Like the like the sound, like the energy in this place, like insane, bro. Good pass, and you give it to the run for three. This team, bro, I, I'm worried about them. One more, yeah. Bro, this is uh, like insane. Okay, I don't know if y'all remember. The score was 86 to 86. The score is now 107 to 88. Wow. This is ridiculous. And one. Wow, wow, wow. Batum. Early stages. Nah, this I see ain't fair. Uncontested, he flies in for the dunk. And Monty Williams wants a timeout. And another potential steal. Wow, that's just bad luck. Hey, that's nice, lovely. Man. Wow. I thought he was going to pass that off, which he should have done. But hey, if you could make that shot, make it. He drew the defender. I thought he was going to do it. Bro, this ain't fair, bro. Wow. Okay, I don't know what Devin Booker scored this game, but if it's less than 40, I really would be very shocked. This is crazy. Good shot. Okay. Uh oh, there they are. They're coming right back. Oh, they hit this. Oh, wow, six points. Oh, we got ourselves a little game game. Oh, nah. Oh, they give it to this guy's bucket. That's what he does. Powell tosses it up. And a foul called on the outside. 132 to 130. Phoenix. Two point lead for the Suns. Oh, that's timely. You cannot, you cannot, you cannot do that. Not right now. Wow. Wow, wow. All right, let's check it out. Let's check it out, people. Let's just go straight to Devin Booker. 41 minutes. I knew it. 47 points. I knew it. There's no way you could. Bro, this was a Devin Booker highlight tape. And KD wasn't far off. What? He had 31. Oh, my God. Like, the efficiency. is This is like 19 of 27. 10 of 19. Like, bro, this is actually insanely scary. Here's the kicker, though. If y'all know this, that score was not very different. So my concerns for the Suns is just their defense. Like, who are they going to be able to stop, per se? You have to realize they almost lost to the Clippers without their two-headed monster. I mean, hey, what do you do when you have elite, elite players going up against these guys? Who are they going to defend? How are they going to start? And we know that they can score. When you have KD, when you have Devin Book on your team, I mean, these are scorers. These are like some of the best scorers to ever play in the game, legit. Who are they going to stop, though? Because that score wasn't that different. What was 136 to 130? Without Paul George and Kawhi? 
So right now, as a hey, as a Lakers fan, to be honest with you, I'm not that 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 concerned because I don't see anybody that's gonna stop our offense. Just like I think that we we have one of the best defenses, so we could stop them at least a little bit. But they like hey, they can't stop anybody. 130 points is a lot of points. So hey, I mean on the Clipper side, what do they do? Norman Powell with 27. He's so he's such a good player. Russell Westbrook actually didn't have a big crazy. Oh, he was three of 18. Good. God, that's tough. He was playing really good this this series though, and he was playing really good defense and everything. Hey, I used to, I I was definitely not a big fan of him on the Lakers. I didn't think the fit made sense for us, but definitely glad that he found a place that he he could be himself and he could do his thing there. Just wasn't with us on the Lakers. I was just being real with y'all, but yeah. Um, so all I gotta say is a Lakers fan. I'm not that worried. But hey, let me know what I should react to next. Let me know your thoughts down below about Stephen A's comments, like what we talked about in the beginning of the video. Like the video, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I love y'all. Till the next video. Peace.